and essentially what happens is when you're energizing the area, which is what the technique is called, when you're just, I'm just letting the energy flow through me to right. the, the client, and it's kind of referred to as pre-soaking. Okay. So you're letting the energy go in, kind of soak in the area, and then, <laughs> um, then what I'm going to do is change hand position sometimes a little bit to then put a little pressure on the specific points. Okay. Okay. Um, and that's to help release it. Oh, okay. That, that, that makes sense. Okay. That makes perfect sense. So it's kind of pre-soaking it and then scrubbing it a little bit. And depending on what level practitioner, um, we also then do what we call pull-outs, which is to help, you know, bring out that negative energy. And, and so one more question then. Do you find when you're doing these sorts of subtle manipulations that they, that your client will have an emotional release? A lot of times they do, okay. but again, not always. People don't always understand what it is they're releasing. Again, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Where I find people have the most emotional reaction is working over the heart area. Okay. And for that one, it's pretty common for people to have an emotional reaction. And also one of the things that I've noticed, if, if someone does have an emotional reaction, they get very embarrassed. And you know what? They shouldn't. Because they're just letting go of something that they need to let go of. And, you know, if tears help, then so be it. That's just another way for them to let go. So then it is common and natural and you have the ability of guiding someone through that process. Right. Is that part of integrated energy therapy or is that just something that you're special at? No, it's it's just part of the process okay. with IET. Um, and truly, anybody that does energy therapy of any kind, they should be able to guide their client through anything that might come up. Okay, so last we spoke of the heart. How many more are there? Um, there's another three areas. Okay. The seventh area... Um, is relieving and you know the seventh and eighth areas I always confuse it's um, resentment uh. that you're trying to release okay um, and what we're doing is imprinting forgiveness that makes sense okay it's actually we do both sides of the body one side is resentment the other side is anger <laughs> Both sides, though, we're, free, we're imprinting forgiveness. Oh, that makes, that makes so much sense. Okay. And the eighth area is stress and powerlessness. Okay. And when where you, is that on the body? It's actually, as we're working on it, it's at the base of the rib cage. Okay. Okay. Um, it's kind of difficult to really explain it without having somebody on a table okay. to show you. Okay. But I there's the hand visual. positions that are on the top of the body and underneath. Um, and again, the hand positions change a little bit as you're going through the, the individual steps. Um, Do you find it a little bit uncomfortable? Does anyone ever find it uncomfortable at all for that eighth position? What, what I've done, um, it's described as having a shotgun technique. <laughs> use three fingers to kind of get an, a particular area. Okay. So reaching under somebody, especially if you've got them really relaxed, um, I really don't want to go really digging under there. Right. Um, so I will get my hands under as close as I can without being really disruptive. Okay. And one of the great things about energy work is that energy follows intention. So even if I should have my hands this far in, but I only get them that far, I know the energy is going to follow my intention to go to the correct spot. Okay. I'm in the neighborhood. It's going to go to the right house. <laughs> All right. Okay. That makes sense. And the last area is around the kidney area. And what we help to relieve there is the energy of fear. And we imprint the energy of safety. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. So one more time from the top. I'm just... I'm visualizing it. I'm really liking it. At the top, I remember you said we're focusing more on guilt and shame. You're focusing on guilt and replacing it with innocence. Thank you. 
Okay. Again, the next level is releasing distrust and imprinting trust. Mm -hmm. Okay. Third area of the throat, you're releasing shame and you're imprinting spiritual pride. Mm. Okay. Fourth area, back of head, um, you're releasing threat, imprinting support. Support. Shoulders are the fifth area, releasing should, shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And imprinting freedom. Okay. Okay. Sixth area is the heart, releasing um, betrayal and heartache, imprinting love. Um, seventh area, releasing resentment and anger, imprinting forgiveness. Mm. Eighth area, again, helping people to release any feelings of stress and powerlessness, um, imprinting ease. And last area, releasing fear and imprinting safety. So how long does this process actually take? You talking about a session or are you talking about how long it takes the energy to really work? <laughs> Kind of both. Okay. Kind of both, yeah. A session with a person on the table takes between 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. The energy will continue to work for about well, a couple of days to a week after a session. Wow. One thing, though, that, that I think a lot of people don't understand okay. is if you've had an issue for a while, mm -hmm. one session is not going to clear everything up. You know, a lot of people will come to a practitioner and they expect one time, you know, 45 minutes, and they're going to feel great and everything is going to be perfect. But that's unrealistic. It really is. Um, a lot of times people will wait until something is really built up. So it might take several sessions of any type of energy work to help relieve it. The other thing, too, that has been noticed. Um, with IET, it's kind of like peeling the layers of an onion. Okay. So you release one problem, which then opens up that another one might crop up. Not that, you know, another one is going to occur. It's just that it's the next layer. You dealt with one layer and that kind of opened the door to another issue you've had buried underneath. So would you call this, um, integrated energy therapy session just almost like the beginning top layer of the onion and that if someone would really like to work through a particular issue or a series of issues that setting up quite a few sessions might actually help that process I don't want to say set up quite a few okay <laughs> um, because again some people they they do know exactly what they're working through mm -hmm. but a lot of times they don't so generally, if they know what's going on, if they have some particular problem they want to work on, then I will suggest, well, maybe you should come back every week or two, a couple of times, and see how they're doing and where they're at. So it's based on their own energy and when they process it. Is. It is. Okay. Because some people are, are really more open to letting their own energy work. And others aren't. Okay. So do you work with the pop... What kind of people do you work with? All kinds. Okay. Um, I've worked, I've actually worked on a two-year-old baby. Oh, how was that experience? It was interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, <laughs> was the, the baby, baby able to sit still or? Well, that was one of the problems. Okay. The, the baby was very hyperactive and driving his mother crazy. <laughs> I bet. That's, <laughs> that's how they are. Um, and... I had mom actually hold him while okay. I was working on the, on the baby and she couldn't believe it because she kept talking to me for a week later saying he's never ever calmed down like that. Um, he actually fell asleep in her arms and that was like mid-afternoon and he just doesn't, wow. he did not do that before then. That's amazing. Um, and with an infant because they're so small, you know, a session might only take 20-30 minutes tops because there, there's just not that much um, issues to issues work through. that they have to work oh, through wow. or, you know, their, their bodies are small. They don't need that big a dose of energy. And I've also worked on, on people up to 84 years old. Mm. What was that experience like? 